Good morning, Corey Thorne, a spiritual, emotional consultant and healer. Coming in this morning to do a quick little meditation. I am in Alberta, and this morning as I look out, there's a huge windstorm. And when I did my meditation yesterday, I spoke about a storm, and I could feel a storm. And, and I don't know, I don't feel as if the storm that I'm speaking of may be so much the the storm and the elements, but it is real. And that storm that happens out there in the world, out there in that ether world that comes into us inside of our little world is also very real inside of us as we are also that body of water. And we also have those storms that happen inside of us. And those storms take us to places within us that make us question who we are, or what we are. Um, and yesterday in my meditation, I shared the card, the eternal and about riding the wave and the turtle spirit be being with us. And the turtle knows that when those waves, like all sea animals, they know to go deep enough down that when a storm comes, they're not so disturbed by that storm. They know where to find their peace. And it means they have to go into that darkness. And so into that darker places, instead of being closer to the top that, you know, when we're, when we're here, we have to find that place of, of safety, of protection. And so once we're out there and we're exposed and we become that. So when we're riding the wave and the water that I'm speaking of is the water that's with inside of us, that we are that body of water. We are our own ocean. We have our own, we have our own uh, um, bodies of water that separate away from the big body of water. So the extensions of us, so the extension from our body out into, you know, our arms, our legs, our feet. And yesterday I wrote a chapter in my book of synchronicities and magic and miracles. It's called, you can't make this shit up. And so in that I wrote about the shoes on my feet and, and the, the ro roses on my toes was the chapter. And I was writing about the extension of us that gives us the ability to be able to move beyond our, you know, move beyond staying in the storm. And so we can, we can tip the scales, we can move, we can level ourselves out so that the storm is not as bad. Um, the way that this came to me this morning was to look at a carpenter and uh, a carpenter knows how to carve out their creation. Well, that's also us in life. Jesus was also a carpenter. And so that ability to take something that is one form and to be able to recreate it and form it into another, well, bodies of water can also do that as well. But I'm thinking of, so I, what, what I started to see was that little tiny bubble in the middle of a, of a level. So if you're, you know, you do carpentry and you have that level and in between where well, we have it in, in school too, for doing, you know, our mathematics studies, when we're having to make straight lines and make graphs and squares. And so, and so that, that level and that little bubble in between in that little glass thing has such value and such purpose. So we are all like those little tiny bubbles. We're all like those little bubbles in a scale. And we, if we can level ourselves, then we will keep the world more balanced or we'll keep our world more balanced. So by coming home to here by this middle line. And so the way that I find that I find my way back to this middle line is to step back in a way I used to, I always speak of in more than existing when we start is, you know, step into you, step into you, come into you. And in my work and as a healer, we talk about witnessing, being a witness, being an observer of your life of, we use these terms and we assume everybody knows exactly what we're talking about, but it's not always so. And so I'm finding myself going back to basics in some of the language that I use as well. And so what I'm wanting of this meditation is for you to be able to feel what it's like to witness your own experiences, to be a witness to who you are. And the message that I wrote it this morning was to actually step back. So I find myself stepping back from me and, you know, I always work with moving my ego out of the side, out of the way, moving my myself to step into my channel and just, it, it is what it is and let the truth speak through me. But this is about living by witnessing my own truth and by witnessing what it's like to live within the body of me. And so 
just imagine standing on shore and watching the water and you see that body of water and you look at that body of water and you wonder what's on the other side, that how will I get to the other side? What will that future me look like? What will that future over there on the other side look like? Well, by standing behind and witnessing the you that's standing there, you can witness your own, your own future self. You can see, you can witness and feel the dream feel that thought. But you can also feel the sense of everything else that we also project out into the world on us not achieving getting to that other side, or why we're not to that other side. And we always speak about the things that we're not getting and what we don't have. And we don't focus on what we already do have. And why is why are we still standing right there? And probably because we don't know how to exist or live to who we need to be in the future and to be able to witness yourself and how far you've come, what I've come to learn. And I, and I did this yesterday in the meditation through the channeling of Jesus was to be able to step into my body, to step back and away from my body. So when you speak to the soul and you do the soul language of learning to communicate through the body, the body speaks the truth and the body will tell you that truth. But what are you going to do with that truth when you receive that truth? What are you going to do with that information? Are you going to instantly take it and give it onto what somebody else needs to do to make your life more comfortable or what the world needs to do or who's going to create that boat or that or that vessel for you to get over there? Who's going to be the vessel? And we spoke yesterday about you being what we call what we call the agent the of transformation, you are the agent, you are also, you know, you're the agent of the voice of the soul of the spirit. So you are that voice, you're that agent. Well, today we speak about being the witness and witnessing to be a witness to your own life, and who you are today and how you are perceiving that view. So as we go into this meditation, we think of that body of water, and we bring back the water, water, and we think of when a storm comes, We think of when the waves come in, what happens when the waves come and you don't want your feet to get wet. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to drown in that water. What do you do? You back up, you back away. And we think of only balancing when we look at a, when we look at the carpenter, when we look at that, that level, we put it one way and we imagine just, you know, leveling it one way. Well, we visualize our lives going like, like this, like the stand up this way. And so we do everything from top to bottom. Like I'm either down here in the, in the lows or sorry, I'm speaking in two cameras. I'm either down here or I'm up there. And so we also don't realize that that level turns, right? And so to turn that level, to turn the tides and to be able to move. So we try to sh- move and shift our energy from being rooted and grounded here to reaching and achieving this higher self. But we don't think about this way either. And that you know, we want to back away and we, and we move back. So sometimes we have to move away from our higher self and we have to move away from our human self and we have to step back. And when we step back, we have to trust that there's something when the winds are coming that we can still stand and look forward and look at that future, but we don't have to stand in the same spot where we're living and we can move our energy back and find a new balance. And that means by you know, pretty much by taking your, taking your feet and using those extensions of you to be the balance of you, not just your body, not just this core body of you, not just the upright straight, but to use the pieces of you that also have a benefit and have a why and have a really good purpose to be able to help you. So when you're standing, you become like the sail. We speak about how we're going to get there. And, you know, building a vessel to get there or using a vessel or having a vessel. But what's going to keep it going? What's going to give it energy? Where does that energy, where's the extensions for that energy? Same thing with water, with overflow. It has to have a place to go, right? And so balancing out so that we can be centered means that we're going to have to have that extension because that little bubble in between is not enough to to balance it. It needs something to keep it balanced. Like a bird knows to spread its wings. A bird knows it has to spread its wings. We know that if someone goes to knock us over, we move our legs. When we see the storm coming, we don't always shift and move our body. We try to stay in it and look right into it. 
but sometimes we're not meant to be right there. Even though we're, we can still be the eye of the storm, but we can find a new way, like put our arms out, put our arms out, move, movement. And so we're going to take this exercise and we're going to shift back and away from the body and see how much more there is to you besides this one dimensional view that you live in that gives you the opportunity to explore even more in depth into you to see how much more there is of you, see how much more there is available of you. So we're going to use a card and we're going to trust that the card is going to give us exactly what we need. This is the Everyday Goddess Oracle Cards. This is my deck of Oracle Cards that is still in beta testing that we haven't got out yet. And it's the willow, the guardian. So just like the trees, just like the wind today and the trees and those extensions and some pieces may break off. I'll bring her closer. It's hard to see. The light is very bright. But her name is Willow. She's the guardian. She's the she's a part of the extension of me. So the guardians are, are a part that channel through me. And they are like my wings. So you have this wingman. So we're going to ask our wingman. We're going to ask our, our sides. We're going to ask our arms to come with us. And so as we imagine taking a deep breath in, I ask you to close your eyes and to take a very big deep breath in. Breathe it all the way down. And then breathe out and let go. And then breathe back in. And breathe out. And I'm going to ask you with your eyes closed to see yourself standing in front of a body of water and see your feet. Look at your feet and see the shoreline. See, notice where you're standing. Bring that attention to your feet and how valuable your feet are. And then bring your arms up and out. And as you do, we're going to imagine as if these arms become like the wings of an angel or the sail on a boat, whatever it may be. And if we're, as we want to take the body from one position, we automatically would want to go forward and to move into our future right away. But we don't want to go towards there. We're not ready. We want to come back. Breathe in. And as you do, bring your arms back. And as you do, you notice your chest opens. As your chest opens, this is your heart center opening. As you do, you feel yourself come back and away from your human body. And let the breath out. And as you stand back here, notice your arms will feel heavy. Your arms are going to feel heavy. And you're going to want to move forward or drop your arms because this is uncomfortable. This is what it's like to be a witness of your own life. Now, as you look ahead now, you are seeing you. Don't drop your arms, hold your arms. See this weight, this heaviness. Notice where in your life in the body that you're holding that heaviness that's that you're projecting, that you're waiting for something to come in to save you from. As you witness your body looking over at that future and what's holding you, think, what do I need to do inside of me to start walking towards there? And with that, allow your arms to come in and wrap around you. And as they wrap around the you that's in front of you, wrap them around that you in front. Take a deep breath in and breathe out as you're holding you, the you that's right here, right now. This is the soul self hug. This is the soul language love. Notice how your arms no longer feel heavy. Notice how you feel lighter. Notice how you feel softer, protected, gentle. Breathe in and breathe out. And then let your breath come all the way down. Let your arms fall around the you. And feel that it's okay to be witnessing the stillness, the pause of right now. And this feeling right here, right now. This is the feeling that we need to feel more of for our future self. And as you are witnessing yourself, the soul language, we send this message, send this body feeling, your body's feeling right now. 
We send that message to your future self that this is what I need to feel in the future. And we give it to the guardians. And we ask of our guardians to step in. We ask for their help. They will not help without us. Help me feel. Help show me. Guide me. To be able to become more of this feeling as I move forward in my life. As I use the extensions of me, including that outside of me, my energy, my guardians, my angels, my guides, my higher self. To realize that that is all still a part of who I am today. Feel it. Feel it and then take a deep breath in and let the arms come back out. And as the arms come back out, rise them all the way up. And as you do, you feel the sense that that higher self, that soul self that's behind, that is now witnessing the human is sending a blessing. Bring the hands down. And as you put your hands into prayer position, namaste, palms touching, you can feel that body. And as you do, you send that blessing of love and take your hands apart and put them to the back of your future self. You're pushing through your now, through your now, and pushing to your future self. And as you do, you take your hands and you spread them out, and we part the waters. Part the waters and bring your arms straight out again. Now feel the balance. Feel how much lighter your arms feel. Feel the balance. Now walk into your now self. Feel the breath as you breathe in. We lean back into the future self. Walk back into who you are. Sorry, back into the now. Walk back into your now. And feel the balance with your arms, with your legs and your feet. And we allow that line of that beautiful thread that holds us from the Mother Earth to the divine to extend from our heart out through our arms out through the center of our hands, out through those minor chakras, and out into the world that is to each side of us. And then through the feet, up through the body, to the top of the head, down through the feet, to the earth up above and down below, to the earth to the side of us, to the right, to the left. That you have these pools that are all around for you. Remember, you are in a glass bubble. And then you come back to the very now and you breathe in and you breathe out. Bring your hands to the center, to your back to the heart center. And as we bring you in, we close in on the now again, back to your heart. What is it I need? What do I need to start to see within me? to bring me closer to that feeling of my future self. And that is your quest of the day. Take a deep breath in and breathe out and come back to the here and now. Trees can all exist together. They are rooted, they are grounded. There's more down below holding them safe. What comes out on top is the extension. What blossom from those or comes in the after they have to go quiet and dormant, and then the spring comes and new leaves bud. There'll always be beginnings and there'll always be endings. But the one thing that stays is what is eternal. And the one thing that keeps them strong while they're here on earth is this, is the trunk. You are the trunk of the tree of life. And you and your human are much needed. You have to care for it, to nurture it, and to witness your own existence instead of always observing others. Much love. Have a beautiful day.